with language, I would always listen to someone like my dad um, when he talked. He was always very lyrical. He would sing when he talked. Uh, I was always very musical. Um, he would say stuff like, learn how to learn, here to learn, how many hears do you hear? Love repetition, love alliteration, etc. That love of language transferred over to my writing, to my filmmaking, to my film editing, uh, to my voiceover work, um, even in journalism, which didn't always work um, as well as I hoped. But even with journalism, I would always write to how something sounded um, in addition to writing to the content. But in my work with teaching kids filmmaking, I researched a way that you can count syllables to make a sentence more lyrical and rhythmic to the point of actually making music without instrumentation, without a beat machine, without backup singers, etc. That's what this blog is about. So you take a line of dialogue like the announcement at school, the book volunteer, that was me. Announcement and volunteer are both three syllables. And this is how that sentence would break down in graph form with announcement and volunteer having the tallest bars out of everybody. To make a sentence more lyrical and rhythmic, what you want is the peaks and valley effects when it comes to counting syllables. And I also included an activity with this blog as well that could be done a number of ways, but what would be really cool is if you guys could incorporate some kind of music lesson with the stuff you're doing. If you can find some musicians in your class and create beats to see if those two departments can somehow make something together.